Alright, second video. Hello, I'm Jay. So, as I mentioned in my first video, I'm about 45 minutes to an hour from Philly, which is where the Mazzoni Center is. I'm sure like a lot of people know what the Mazzoni Center is just because the Philadelphia Trans Health Conference is like fr like a part of that or something, I don't know. Like, it, it goes through the Mazzoni Center to happen. Um, I went in 2016 for like one day with my mom, basically to meet uh, and get my book signed by um, Jazz Jennings. So yeah, it was pretty cool. I met her. Uh, I'll include a picture here. Um, it was lit. So yeah, I just, I made an appointment at the Mazzoni Center like last week and I wrote down like a bunch of questions and then the answers to those questions. I asked the guy who I made the appointment with. He was pretty nice, by the way. Everyone on like Yelp, everyone was like, oh, their reception staff is trash. I only talked to the one guy, but he was pretty nice. Like, and it, okay, everyone is all like, oh, it takes forever to get through to them. It wasn't that bad. Like, I don't know if it was just a good day or something, but I was like, there was one caller ahead of me when I called and it only took like three minutes to get through to them at most. Like, it, it, it wasn't long at all. I'm just gonna read off of this paper here, the little notebook. So, the first question I had for him was about insurance uh, and like the copay for the insurance. And he asked what insurance I had. Uh, I have. He asked what insurance I had. I have Independence Blue Cross personal choice. The Mazzoni Center takes IBX, Independence Blue Cross, which is great. I guess some insurance providers or some insurance companies, they um, have a personal care provider, PCP, um, primary, primary care provider, something like that. I don't have to list one on my insurance, but typically the primary care provider would be like the doctor you go to all the time, like when you have a cold or something. To get your visits covered at Mazzoni, you would have to change it. But since I don't have that kind of insurance, I didn't have to do it. Um, but I would ask, like if you decide to go there or something. Yeah, you might have you might have to change your primary care provider before you go to have the visit covered. And I mean, you can change it and change it back. Like, I don't think it's a big deal to change that. But yeah, so that's the insurance. And then the co-pays. For me, there's no copay. Technically, like, I don't have to pay the guy when I, like, leave the place. My phone. I don't have to pay the guy when I leave the place or anything, like, after my visit. But that's only because we have, like, this deductible plan where it's a set amount of money and they take out of that thing to cover whatever. So, like, all my prim primary care provider, that doesn't exist, visits. Like, my normal doctor, all the copays go through them. My copay is, like, $10 at the regular doctor. So it'll be like $10 coming out of deductible amount of money that's in there. I think the copay for Mazzoni is like $20. So that would be coming out of the deductible plan thing uh, when I go. All right, so the second question I had was about um, the process of HRT, like to get on hormones, the process of that, and like the number of visits, which, you know, same thing, process, number of visits. He told me that there's three appointments and the first two can be done in one day. And I was like, oh, that's lit. So the first appointment, you get your blood taken and I, I guess they just check to make sure you're good, but I don't know. The second visit or appointment is a little like interview thing with the social worker that's there. I think they just go over like, what you're getting yourself into, you know, like all that type of thing, which is good. Like, I want them to tell me, uh, Everything, like, obviously, <laughs> like, I know what's gonna happen, but, um, I'm, I'm glad they're telling me, like, I'm glad they do that. Uh, also, like, my mom's going with me, so I think that'd be good for her, too, because she can ask any questions she has and all that kind of stuff. And then the third appointment, visit, whatever, is with the actual doctor. Um, so I guess you'll be dealing, I'll be dealing with, um, nurses I guess for the first two appointments and the social worker but but the third visit is with the doctor and he actually prescribes you the hormones I'm pretty sure that they're supposed to tell you like how to do it yourself like I think it's gonna be the doctor prescribes you the hormones you go get it because there's a Walgreens like connected to the Mazzoni Center and then you come back and they inject it 
and they teach you how to do it at home and all that garbage. Also, um, hormones, like the actual vial and like, I think all your needles are included in this price too. I think that's all $80, like around $80. I don't think the $80 is just the vial. I I'm pretty sure like from what I've seen, that's like everything included is like $80. Um, but I mean, I'm not sure. I'll see what happens. Yeah, so the third question I had was about the patient portal that they have on the website that I saw. So I asked like, can I use that? Like, that looks cool. He said that I could register before making an appointment and then you can make the appointment from the portal. But I ended up just making the appointment through him. <clears throat> and when I gave my email, um, <clears throat> after the appointment was made and everything, they sent me an email. Um, that was like, click here to access patient portal. So I just went through that and I like, you know, made a password or whatever. And finally, my wait time for the appointment. I called to make this appointment, February 2nd, 2017. And they gave me an appointment for April 14th, 2017. They also told me to get there like a half hour early. Um, so I'll do that, like I have nothing better to do anyway. I'll be too excited to sleep, so. Yeah, it's like a little over two months the wait. That's not that bad. Like, I thought it was gonna be like three months. <laughs> not that that's much difference, but I mean, it's a month earlier, so. Also, I wanted to talk about making the appointment itself, like through through the guy. Side note, I, I have KFC. It was right next to the camera this whole time. So, making the appointment. I called, asked all these questions, and I'm like, all right, I'll make an appointment like through you instead of the patient portal. First of all, have your insurance card ready because they do like want your little number thing on your card or whatever. Anyways, they ask for your legal name, but they also ask for your preferred name. I don't know which one they're gonna call like at the appointment, but um, they do ask for both. So both are in the system. Then they ask like for, you know, the, you know, the usual, your birthday, your phone number, your email, all that. But they also ask your preferred pronouns and like if you identify as trans or gender non-conforming, whatever. So yeah, that was cool that they ask. You don't have to be like, yeah, but I go by that. Like, just listen to the guy, they'll ask. So you don't have to ask yourself, unless you want to, unless they don't ask for some reason. But yeah. My appointment is April 14th and then he said after you go to the what's called intake appointment which is you know the appointment I'm going to because I'm like a new patient after that all the appointments you make after that won't be two months away from when you make them so I'm thinking I could like be on T but like in May you know uh, so that's pretty cool so I said there was three appointments but the first two can be made on the same day. The first appointment is like the one where they take your blood, I guess. So I, I go to that one first, and then right after that, it's like an hour, and then after an hour, I have the other appointment. So they're like an hour apart. But after that, I go to the social worker one. I just go like right away. And then the third appointment with the actual doctor, I guess I'll just make that appointment on my way out. If you have any like questions, you can just comment them. I'll probably, I'll read them. And when I go for my appointment, I'll either ask there, or if I just forgot to say it in this video, I'll respond to your comment or put it in my next video. So yeah, I'll definitely make a video after the appointment. I'll try and make a video in between because that's like two months. But maybe like after a month, a month from this video, I'll make another one, just, a, just an update. So yeah, for now, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.